a doctor's insurance and birth injury and medical malpractice. From time to time, a doctor's insurance will be a question on the minds of some families when they are dealing with a birth injury or medical malpractice claim. Essentially, what these clients want to know is will the jury know that in many cases the doctor is not paying any verdict out of their own personal money but through the use of insurance. Please remember that the information that I am providing in this educational talk is general in nature. If you have specific questions as to this issue and your set of facts, be sure to speak with an attorney about your specific issues for your specific case. Now, why birth injury and medical malpractice cases can be different. I think you have to understand that to be able to understand the insurance question. I would like to help you understand how we prove medical malpractice in general. In medical malpractice cases, they can be different from say a car collision case in many ways. In some car collision cases, the use of medical experts to testify at trial may not be needed. This is not the case for medical malpractice cases. In Maryland, medical experts are needed to give opinions and to testify as to things like the standard of care and causation. Other experts may also be needed to help explain the damages portion of the case. Essentially, these experts will testify as to the applicable standard of care in the case and whether the treating doctors or medical professionals deviated from the standard of care causing the baby's injury in a birth trauma case or a patient's injury in a medical malpractice case. Now, let's talk about the doctor's insurance in a birth injury case. So now we're gonna to go to this question. We're gonna bring up the fact of the insurance in medical malpractice cases and we're gonna explain from there. If you analyze what I just said you should be able to see that when we're talking about the standard of care and causation, the fact that the medical doctor has insurance is irrelevant as to these questions. In a jury trial, the rules of evidence will not allow for irrelevant or confusing evidence for the jury to consider. The fact that a medical doctor may have medical malpractice insurance plays no role in a jury's analysis of whether there was a departure from the standard of care which caused the injury. And as a result, in many instances, the fact that the doctor or nurse has insurance will not be admitted into evidence or will not be something that the jury will know or take into consideration when delivering their verdict. If you have more questions about this topic and what we've talked about today, there is a telephone number down below on the screen right now. Go ahead and pick up the phone and give us a call. We talk with families all the time regarding birth injury, HIE situations or cerebral palsy, MAS, shoulder dystocia. This is what we do. One more thing, we practice law here in the state of Maryland. If you are not in Maryland and you contact us, please understand that we have to use co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state, which we will help with to be able to do the case. So I just want to make sure that you understand the local counsel or the co-counsel aspect of things. I'm Marcus Boston. Thanks for listening.